Dr. Ramashish Paul currently position as Examiner of Patents and Designs, Group A, Gazetted Officer Intellectual Property Office, Chennai DPIIT, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India. Qualification, Ramashish Paul completed his B.Sc. degree from St. Columbus College, Hazaribagh in 2010. He has completed M.Sc. Degree from Vinoba Bhavi University, Hazaribag in 2012. He has completed M. Tech from IIT Delhi in 2016. Also, he has cleared various national level examinations like CSIR NET in 2012 and 2013, GATE in 2014 with AIR 190. Now he is working as a NIPAM officer to spread IPR awareness among students and faculties in various colleges and universities across the nation. Dayanand Sagar, of, uh, Dayanand Sagar University, one engineering institution, there, were, there was a math faculty and she has invented one biomedical device. Can you imagine one math faculty is developing a biomedical device? So what is that? So she has some problem in her leg. So when she, she, she met with an accident, I think you are connecting with me. She met with an accident car accident and what had happened, she had some injury in her left leg. So, uh, she had some uh, sort of, you know, device entered in the leg and she had to put the weight on her one leg. So, you know, what will happen if the 60 kg of weight will put on one leg? And so, it is very difficult. So, she has developed one device, so that will send a alarming message like vibration or something and which will tell her, no, this leg has already, you know, taken enough weight, you shift it to another leg. So she has developed. Imagine, she is a math faculty. And how she has done it? This is the inspiration for faculties. How she has done it? So she has requested other mechanical and electrical and bio branch students, like six or seven students. And she has come and she has designed a project. And after designing that project, she has developed a machine. That was a very small machine. So just like a time it will give you a signal. But how that they will you know sense that that uh, that you your uh, your, your uh, right leg is getting tensed. How how you will it? So for that purpose he has selected electrical students. So you must be thinking that alone you can do a invention. Of course you can do. But right now we are working on a multidisciplinary invention. Even I am from chemical, I'll i get an invention where I will be examining a computer related invention linked to, you know, water. Like once water will be, you must have gone to the washroom. But what about the individual right? That will be provided to you. If you have written a song and you have registered it, so that right will be with you only. Without your assignment or license, nobody can make copies of that. So that right is with whom? With you. So this is right. And that right will be provided from the government of India for a couple of years. So this varies for different types of intellectual property rights. So this was a small example I have, you know, created for a school student. So what will happen if you not register your land, then anyone can come and, you know, uh, claim, claim this right. If you have any intellectual property, what will be the area under which you will have the right? So as you know, fundamental right and other right in the Indian territory only. So once you have the right, you can exercise those rights in India, including Jammu and Kashmir. So now one more thing, what is happening uh, closely, I will, I, will, I will speak to the faculty, that you are going for publication, right? So what you, are, uh, you, you all faculties are in hurry, okay, we will go for the publication. So what is the difference between publication and uh, patent? If you go for the publication, then what will happen? Everywhere I am going, I am getting this question, ki, sir, I have if anywhere, if you have disclosed your invention or any piece of intellectual property, even with your friend, and it has published in even a newspaper, you can't get a patent. The only criteria to get a intellectual property registration that you will you will have to disclose to the government of India. The very first time. 
if you are disclosing it first, if you are disclosing it 11.55 and someone is disclosing 11.55 20 seconds, he will not get the protection. So before telling your friend, I think you are not getting this thing, okay? Before telling your soul limit, you tell it to the patent office. So you get the protection. Once you apply, now you must be thinking, Telugu, okay, you can apply for that patent written in Telugu or Tamil or Kannada. And we will accept it. And we accept it actually. We are working on that. So that our idea, if you have any intellectual property, we accept it irrespective of your knowledge of language. We value the creativity. So that for that, the only that's why I told you you don't consider you have mechanical, electrical, anything. You could go, you can go for any kind of invention. Okay. So yeah, uh, you enter IP India. Is asking whether I'm Robert or not. I'm not. What I need to do?